I like to clear that up too. Um, the release date situation is not me like talking my day one fans. I'm now a motherfucking how you say it like a professional rapper. So goddamn, <laughs> I ain't got I ain't got control uh, over a lot of release dates. Like I'll be like, yeah, nigga, come on, drop that motherfucker, and then they'll be like, well, you know, Rob, we have to wait. It'd be like, I can't. I, I do as, as best as I can, you know what I'm saying? That's really why I'm doing this promo run, like just to make sure I can go out and see every, all my fans, because I love them with all my heart. And I know a, a lot of y'all put sad rappers say that shit, like, so I love my support. I love y'all niggas, like, for real, for real. Like, I love y'all to the point that when y'all talk down on me, I'll fuck around and get mad and not want to talk to y'all no more, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, no, I remember this fuck nigga, he was talking shit last, last month because I ain't drop a song, you know what I'm saying? But the tour, is mainly just to, j just for me to re reconnect and see everybody, you know what I'm saying? I see. And I have um, a mixtape, uh, well, another album dropping before Falconia. I just dropped an EP. I'm about to put out another um, uh, another f album on iTunes. It's gonna be free also for my day ones. I have to. It's just I just don't feel right always charging them for music, just because of how far they got me. So, Miley World, Miley World is about to come out. I'm not gonna say no release date because I'm not gonna let y'all hold me to nothing and I go back on my word or the label fuck something up, you know what I'm saying? So. Is Falconia done though? Or is that still in progress? Falconia that's been done for, I'm a, I have something wrong with me up here like as far well, musically like when it comes to that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a hard, like I'm past perfectionist, it's terrible. like. And I've remade the album two times, you know what I'm saying? And oh, that, wow. Yeah, like, so I'm sitting on like 300 songs now, and I'm about to, while I'm on tour, we have a, uh, uh, we got a little studio bus on the tour, on, on, on the tour bus, you know what I'm saying? My bad, I worded that wrong, studio on the tour bus. So I'm gonna be recording all my producers and my engineer there, so we're gonna be recording Falconia while touring on this, on, on this run, so. This is this will be the last time and all. That's how I like to do it now though. I like to get a bunch of content, combine it, work up to the last minute and then combine it with what I just did, you know what I mean? So I'm sitting on like 300 songs, like, and now I'm just like, man, let's put this shit out. Like I can't even, I, cause I can't, it's hard to create now. Cause I'm like, I got a whole nother brain. I can't create a, I can't use this one. I got this one right here that I gotta get to somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Why have you done it two times over though? Uh, because I listen to shit slime and I just be like, I don't like this no more. I be like, I, I listen, I love it for the first couple months and be like, man, I said I don't like this shit. I don't like this no more. And then niggas would be like, oh yeah, come okay, you know that shit fine. But you know, I gotta take it. I gotta take everything. Everybody say with a grain of salt because I help a lot of people and a lot of people around me like they look to me like if I, I'm a machine, I'm not a personal rapper no more. Machine. If I stop. Everything stops for them, you know what I'm saying? For my family, for my friends, there's people in jail right now that I gotta help, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I gotta keep going, you know what I'm saying? So, those people will sometimes just, uh, will just tell me what I wanna hear, you know what I'm saying? Be like, yeah, yeah, even if they don't really like it. So I gotta always question myself, you feel what I'm, you, you know what I mean? Like, the last, like, every, I, I do it, I, but, it's to the point now that I do it too much, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm doing this too much. I, I need to just get, I just need to give it to them. Because I see a lot of them, like, they looking like, they almost like, damn, like, you gave up on me, you know what I'm saying? That's how they looking at me, like, damn, you not giving me, like, nothing. You feel me? And I, I love, I love my supporters way too much. Way, way too much, for real, for real. So I'm a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. Clarify for me, because I heard two different things. I heard. You started it uh, two times over, but you're still continuing to work on Falconia mm -hmm. while you're on this road uh, yeah. with promo tour because yeah. um, you have the studio on the bus. And then uh, at first when we started this segment of the interview, you said that it's not your fault, it's the record label maybe holding you up. Yeah, because that's for other projects. Like oh. It's been other projects I've, I've announced, like, like Molly World and uh, No Rooftops 2 and um, Fucking, uh, I love you so much, Falcon of the, of the Millennium. A lot of these projects is done, and I'm turning them in, and they like, 
Oh, the Dropbox files that get lost, or they'll be like, well, resend it. And then I, by the time they're telling me to resend it, I done listened to it like 40 times, and I'm like, I done overthought none of them. I'm like, mm, I don't like this song, I don't like that song. I'm taking them off. So then I'll be like, let me go back to the studio for one more week. And then I'll put four new bitches on that motherfucker. You know what I mean? So that's really what happened. But I don't know. Like, it's hard to explain, bro. Like, you got, like, he, he be there. So he know, like, my recording process is strange, bro. Like, I don't. I'll go in there, I'll put on some anime or a movie or something, or like documentary. So, or or I'll watch it, like the weirdest shit I've done, I'll watch a, like an old Wayne performance and just put on silent and I just, they play the beat and I, I don't go in the booth because the booth, when I'm in the booth, I feel like lately it's been feeling like a, an asylum, like a padded room. Like I can't be in there with my thoughts just flowing. I'd start out. I got like I get a panic attack in there. I, I, I real, really and truly for real. So I record right next to the um, the console. I'm right next to the engineer. Nobody in the room. I don't like that. And I freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. I get four, five songs done a night. Go back, listen to it. And I'll do this for weeks and weeks on end. You know what I'm saying? Until I'm, I go back and listen to it, and I'll be like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Those is going on this project. Those we throwing out there just to throw out. This going on that project. That, mm, I don't like that shit, scrap it. So-and-so, mm, get at the so-and-so for his album. So that's a long story short of how it go. So something like Molly World, mm -hmm. are these songs that were supposed to be on Falconia? Or is Molly World its own? Some of them. Okay. Some of them. Some of them was supposed to be on Falconia, but uh, 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 most of it was, a. Uh, it was a whole different vibe. Like, it was, the music on drugs, music geeked up. Like I named it Molly World because I remember there was a future mixtape with DJ X Rated that came out called Molly World, and it was one of my at, at that time in my life. I was just crazy. I was just I was way more. I was <laughs> I, I I was way different from how I am now. You know what I'm saying I would have came in here just with a thirty niggas talking shit, pointing guns at the <laughs> like dumb shit. And, but it was a fun time in my life, you know what I mean? And music lately, like, I got to a point like a couple months ago where music wasn't as fun to make, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like a slave to the music. So I wanted to do, so I wanted to do something fun, man. And, and in the midst of when I thought of Molly World, I was recording a project, the project that's coming out after, after Molly World, which is just an EP now, because I, I don't want people to get confused by all these project names. That's just love songs. I was making a bunch of love songs mm -hmm. and a lot of girl slower stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of a lot of my um, supporters like that type of shit. They love when I do samples, Aaliyah samples, and things like that. So I, I made a whole uh, projects work with uh, Indigo Child Rick. He's a producer, designer, like he, under SS. He's that, that, that's my brother. But it was really sad, like I was making it and getting really sad, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, it, it gave me a bad vibe while I was making it. So after I finished it, I'm like, yo, I wanna do something fun. So that became Molly World. And Molly World, when I played it for the label, they was like, yeah, put this one out first, this the one. Cause it's more upbeat and it's it's a lot of different uh, feelings and vibes on it. Like, I don't know if you ever took an M, where you, when you take, a, you take a Molly, you be happy and then you start coming down, you get sad, you get timid. It, in the corner, shy. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You get so, so all those songs is like, you know what I'm saying? Like the feeling of it, you know what I'm saying? And I geek the fuck up when I made that shit. So I listen to it, and it's one. It's actually one thing I could say. But I remember I said earlier, I I, I li I'll listen back to my music, and I'll be like, oh, I hate this. Like I li I've listened back to it a bunch of times, and. That shit is riding. Like, I love it. Like I like I really love the project for real. No cap. Like, I love that shit for real. So Still. at this point, mm -hmm. where we're at today, how long has been? How long has Falconia been in the works for? Um, really in the works or just announced? Because I got a I got, like like I told you, I have a problem with announcing things. Like I get ideas. The way I work, I have so much ideas that they just come out. I'll just be like. I'm, Oh, I got an idea, and I'll just be ready to create. You know what I mean? Before there's even any music done, oh, and wow. I'll just announce it, and the music won't even be done yet. I'll get people hyped up, and then all my my producers hate that shit. They'd be like, "Bro, what the fuck is you doing?" Like, but I'd be confident in myself because it's like, "Bitch, I record fast. Like, I record fast. I get 
cover art done fast. Like I do, like when I'm really when I'm when I'm ready, I'm ready. That's why people are looking at me like, where the fuck is the is the music? Because I've made like in the time I, I my last tape I put out was maybe like six months ago. Like real talk, like, I took a six month hiatus after I came off to the Revenge tour, and I was working, my nigga, like working studio with birds, studio with everybody, like working, and. The, I'm sorry. What was the question again? I started rambling. Oh, I was yeah. asking how long has Falconia uh, taken so oh, how far long at this point? Well, I'll, yeah, okay, I'm back. There. Got it again. Really? You announced it I'm first. Half, it I'm, sounds like before there was music. Yeah, me. yeah. I'm halfway through it now. I'm halfway through now. But how long do you think it's been? Like six months on this? A year on this? Three hundred songs is quite a lot of music. Well, when I'm recording all that music, a lot of it isn't just for. It's not just like, this is for foul. It's like, it's just recording. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I have, I'm halfway through Falconia, so shit, it probably was like the whole six months from when I left the, left the tour. And now, since I got 300 tracks, I'm now consolidating them and being like, like I hope that's the right word I'm using too, and they don't roast me in the motherfucking comments. No, that is the right word. And I am the nigga that will find you in the comments. And all that. <laughs> I, will, I found, I found y'all before. I'll find y'all again. But, um, I'll take I'll take like twelve and be like, that's this project. Thirteen here, that's this project. Sixteen here, that's this project. Four, that's an EP. You know what I mean? So now my real goal with it is to put out all the music in different projects. So I don't got these three hundred songs anymore. So mm. now I'm forced to create new content. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm doing with the, on tour. So while while I'm on tour, you rapping up Molly World. Uh, I'm fuck what I'm saying, Falcone. See, I even get these motherfuckers confused. But um, my, uh, my producer, Arnold, is dead. Uh, Y'all may know him. He got the big um, Anne Frank tattooed on his face. Yeah. He he, he um, producing uh, Falconia for me. And he just helped me finish up Molly World. Molly World um, was executive produced by Indigo Child Rick and him. So, yeah. And then, uh, you know, some other shit that I can't really discuss yet. Some other um, collab mixtapes coming out that I can't talk about yet that me and you I mentioned to you you know what I'm saying mm. we're we gonna keep that in the raps off until, the record yeah off the record until uh you know all the paperwork is there if that sees and the that light of day bag there <laughs> you know what I mean if that collab <laughs> sees the light of day that's gonna be huge yeah it will hey man set 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 phone turning up for the goddamn 2018 man that's I'm really excited because I I I took last year and I I remember telling um I think I told somebody I told Ski or something I told somebody on that tour I was like yo I'm gonna take the rest of this year and just be quiet I'm gonna let everything fizzle out I'm gonna let everybody do them and I'm gonna come the next year after that and with my whole plan everything is premeditated my brother like for real like it's a premeditated brother for real trust me. So no release dates, but these two projects are coming though. Molly World, yeah, that's yours. So no release dates, but Molly World and Falcone is definitely going to be coming. Oh, 100 percent, 110 percent. Like I bet my life on that. Like it's coming, like, and it's coming like a motherfucking porn star, nigga. Like, that <laughs> shit coming soon, nigga. Like that shit, <laughs> that shit is on. It's coming so soon, bro. Like. And it's so good, Slime. Like, the only, like, like, for real, for real. It's so good. And you know, other, other songs too, like Throwaways, obviously. Like, I did some shit with Sosa, I did some shit with Dex. Everybody know that, they seen that on Instagram and shit. Um, that song with, like, like, let me clear something up, though. Like, the song, like, especially like, the song with Sosa, like, we, we wasn't able to get in the studio together for it. So, it's not that, the one that's about to come out, it's a, it's a cool song, it's a great song, but it's not my particular favorite. Like, and it was a freestyle that, he freestyled and I, cause we both don't write. And he's he's such a good dude, man. That my nigga, man, for real. Like, I really, I fuck with Sosa so tough. But we going we got another one that's we we in the studio for. You know what I'm saying? And that one, that's the that's probably something that's gonna make it on Falcone. So we we probably gonna get two from me and Sosa. And you know the usual the usual sus suspects on that motherfucker. You know, so on all the projects, some new people that my people might be surprised with. You know what I mean? Yeah.
I fuck with you, those smalls. I ain't gonna lie. I, initially, I ain't even wanna get out of bed. You can ask money. I ain't even wanna get out of bed. I'm like, bitch, I don't, I'm tired. I don't wanna do no motherfucking interview. But this is actually. We've been trying to set this up for a while. For real? Yeah. Damn. I mean, that makes me feel bad. Like, I don't want nobody to think I'm no diva, no. Because I'm definitely not no diva. I'm, I'm no, it's hard to catch you in Atlanta. Everybody, I, I'm, 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 the crazy thing is, I'm always here, though. I got so much homeboys out here, like, all full of all them. Them my people. And, um, uh, K, Narcotic Caleb and Germ. Them, them my peoples, you know what I'm saying? So, that's crazy. We'll have to do this more often, then. Yeah, 100%, man. I watch all your shit, too. I watch all your shit, for real, for real. My, shout out my, let me get a shout out my dog Juice, cause Juice gonna definitely watch this motherfucking <laughs> bitch. He loved, he loved your shit. He the one that really put me on your shit.